of like like whatever you put down, if you light a candle and the part that is empty, like the empty ones, then you move it. You see what I mean? Every single day, someone is paying attention to what's happening out here in these streets, right out here in Flatbush. If you walk, if you march down church, if you stay in this corner, they're paying attention to every action and everything that we do as a community to see if this really matters to us. The youth, your voice is the most important. They need to hear it. They need to see you. They need to see you in abundance, and they need to see you calm and respectful just the way you are. What will it take for us to get answers? Will we stop today? Will we stop tomorrow? They won't stop at nothing, neither should we. They won't stop at nothing, neither should we. Where are we taking it? Are we taking it to Albany? Are we taking it to the courts? Where are we taking it to get our answers? We can't just come out and not make demands. Just like step away a little bit. You don't have to be here. We find it disrespectful with your presence right in the middle of the rally. If you could just move away, we'd appreciate that. We don't see any reason for you to be here. It's very provocative, actually. There's no crime going on. Why don't you go after crime? They're paying you. Uh, you can speak. I mean, aren't you allowed to speak? Stop okay. talking about y'all no snitch. Isn't that snitching? We have to stop the pitching of young black kids. Okay. Okay. They're yeah. pitching on their face, so stop it. It's not snitching, okay? You're helping Kimani. When the investigator come out here, speak to them. When the DA come out here, speak to them. This is not about snitching. It's about getting the pigs, getting the dogs off the street before they have one more y'all. Okay? Understand that. Let me tell you what snitching is. Snitching is when Miss Jones is looking out her window and she sees somebody shot down and she goes to the police, that's not a snitch. A snitch is somebody who ride in the street with you, do crimes with you, sell drugs with you, and then sell you out for time. That's a snitch. That's what snitch is. Learn the difference. Learn the difference. Now, if Ms. Jones sees something and she step up and that's you, you run around, you did it, man up and handle it. You don't hurt an innocent woman or an innocent child. But when these police do something, nobody got nothing to say. Everybody saying that Kimani was unwrongfully murdered, but nobody stepping up in the community. That's a problem. That's a problem. We can't get justice if you're afraid of the police. You run around here and fuck the police, so fuck them. Tell them what's going on. That's what we're talking about. You got to step up because they have a defense now. You know what their defense is? Their defense is Kimani was a gang member. Exactly my point. That's their defense, though. But what they are telling you is that you don't matter if you're a gang member. Show them that you do matter no matter what you're a part of. He was someone family, someone's son, someone's friend, someone's homie. And regardless of your immigration issue, because a lot of people, I'm dead serious, don't laugh, it's a West Indian neighborhood, and a lot of people, because maybe they might not have their documents, they're scared. In this country, you will be covered. It doesn't matter if you don't have your shit. If you see something, regardless, these officers who murder him, you understand me? You need to come forward. A lot of people want to talk about brothers out here, you know what I'm saying, being part of gangs and all that. Let me tell you something. These brothers out here, these young brothers are more organized than these adults are. These young brothers, they have each other back and they watch in their neighborhood. We need grown folks to start doing that too. How many people live across from a neighbor don't even know who the hell they are? You know what I'm saying? That's the type of people we have become. If we see our brothers in the street, you know what I'm saying? It's our duty to say, yo, young blood, you know what I'm saying, young brother, let me talk to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's you know, let's just build. Let's talk about something, anything that I can help you with. We're supposed to have each other's back in the community. Not calling people and saying, these brothers are in front of the building drinking, these brothers are in front of the building doing that. Because I hear that on the regular. All right. Sometimes y'all gotta give us a chance to mourn the young brother, man. That's how we mourn, son. You know, this is what we do, man. I'ma do Diallo what they say. He had a gun, shot him 41 times. Wallet. Oh yeah, it was a wallet. I right, Sean Bell, what they said. He had a gun. All right, and they murdered him a day before he was about to get married. Ramali Graham, what they said, he had a gun. You understand know what, what they did? They murdered him too. You understand? Know right now, 
They killed Kamali Gray, all right, and then supposedly found some type of weapon that is was sold in Florida 30 years ago. Some antique stuff. That's you know what I'm dangerous. saying? We got to look. There's no fingerprints on it. District Attorney from Brooklyn, Charles Hines, I right, has never, since he's been in office, prosecuted any police officer for any of their wrongdoings. So don't think that he's going to change his way. Him and Ray Kelly, all right, and Michael Bloomberg are the best of buddies. You know what I'm saying? The only ones that's going to make a change in the community is us in the community. First and foremost, I'd like to give thanks to the Lord for bringing us all here together. i also like to give thanks to the Lord for our ancestors that have died and passed before us. I'd like to give prayer and thanks for my ancestors, all our ancestors and ancients that have passed before us, that have gone through the struggle. I ask that they give us protection and guidance today, and they guide our hands and all our deeds, and they guide our minds, our hearts, our souls, our spirits, and all our deeds today as we go forth today. And we have a loving people that love ourselves, that we are not against ourselves, and we love our own, and we love our blood, and we love our skin, and we love our tone, and we love our hair. Can't you tell?